What's going on guys, it's Adonis and I'm back finally. It's been about a week since I posted anything. I was actually in the hospital the past couple of days. Um, really bad uh, internal stuff going on, but we're good now and I'm still not 100%, but this came in today and I have to do this for you guys. So I'm gonna bear through the pain. We got the switch. Let's get in this unboxing, see what this is about. All right guys, I'm extremely excited. We have our Zelda Breath of the Wild game. We have our Nintendo Switch. Inside the box we have, this is what's actually inside. We got our console, we got our Joy-Con left and right, Joy-Con straps, high-speed HDMI cable, Switch dock, Joy-Con grip, Nintendo Switch AC adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. Very, very exciting. This is really cool here. So you have our plug it in, set it up. When attached to the Nintendo Switch console, the Joy-Con controllers batteries will also charge. That's pretty cool. Very interesting. Let's go and open this up and there we have it. The Nintendo Switch. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I like that a lot. Oh, sweet. We have our Joy-Cons here. We got the, I don't know if that's pink. Would you call that pink or like neon red? Not 100% sure. Let me know what you guys think the colors are called. Um, but I like them though. Put this on the ground. All right, so we have our Joy-Con controller. So they dock on the side of here. Really nice grip actually. Um, not 100% sure how it's gonna feel with the Joy-Cons active in them, but I like it. Now I'm really excited about this too because this is the first controller, or not the first controller, the first console that I've owned in about five years. Um, I'm not necessarily a gamer. I like games, but I'm not very good at them. So I get addicted and I'm not good. So not a good combination, but I've been really, really looking forward to this console because of its portability. So I'm really excited. So we got our HDMI cable, HDMI, we have our Adapter now this is obviously the Australian adapter plug so it's gonna look a little bit different to those that are watching in the US so Like that so it seems as if the dock charges via USB-C as well. Very interesting. We have our Dock here Let's Take this out Again, very very small very very small look at that I mean, this thing is tiny and you can see inside the dock there, got our USB-C port. Um, this is really cool, by the way. So you have USB, HDMI out. So I wonder if you can, so this is a USB port. So I'm not sure what that is for. It could be for updates, it could be for something else. I'm not sure, but that's a USB 3.0 uh, 3 port. And then we have our AC adapter, which is this here, which is the USB-C port. So this is really interesting. Very curious on how that will operate. And then this dock, when you press down, that exposes the USB-C port because if you look inside, it's actually flush. Nintendo Switch. Now this is, I'm not gonna lie, this feels a little bit like, it's like kind of solid, but still a little flimsy. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the build of the actual dock itself. It does feel a little bitch on the cheap side, but for the cost of the console, I can't really complain either. Um, but this is just the dock. The console is the actual switch. So let's actually connect that really quick. This is the console. Very, very small USB-C on the bottom. We have our switch on the back. Kickstand is here. This actually exposes the micro SD slot. I believe it's upgradable to two terabytes. I could be wrong though, but most micro SD slots right now are upgradable to that. Um, so I'm assuming that would be the same here but I will look into that for you guys. And then we have our slots for the Joy-Cons themselves, volume up and volume down, and the game cartridge slides in there. We have our power button there. Very, very interesting. Now what we're gonna do right now is actually power this on, and we're gonna slide on the Joy-Cons right now. See what this looks like. So Nintendo Switch is powering up right now. So it's asking us to dock the Joy-Con. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Ooh, that noise is sick. 
Okay, I like that a lot. That, oh my goodness, I really like that. Let me, oh, that's all sick. All right, so we're gonna do English. And we're gonna go to Australia. Okay. Searching for networks. All right, so we're gonna go to my network here. Sorry guys, we're gonna take this off screen real quick. Now this is touchscreen as well, so you can operate it just by touching on the display. I just typed in the uh, password on the screen and it responded extremely well, so that's super dope. All right, so we're in Brisbane area, so the time zone anyways. So you can enjoy Nintendo Switch on the larger screen from TV. We'll do that later. Detach, Joy-Cons. So there's a button on the back so these buttons here are the buttons that detach the Joy-Cons. Little black buttons there. So detach, do not press any additional buttons when detaching the Joy-Con. Boom. So you can take that off, take that off, use left. That's perfect, I love it. Use the console with the Joy-Con so we can actually prop this up. So I'm going to take the power out. And power is at 54% right now. So let's dock this or kickstand this piece. Probably won't be able to see the screen, but we'll try to do this. So let's do Toad. Where's Toad at? You ain't got no Toad? No toad? All right, well, Link it is. See the cool one though, he looks fly. Set a complete, you can now press the home button. Take us home. Sweet. So this is the home screen. So I'm gonna put these back on the switch, just dock it back. So play a game, you can insert the card and download the software to the Nintendo. Um, oh, from Nintendo. Um, but we're not gonna download anything right now. I just wanna see, so we have news, Nintendo eShop, so you go there, it'll have probably games that we can now purchase. System is required updates, we'll update that now. See if we can get the update. It's available, we'll hit update. Okay, so it's gonna do the update right now. So this update will allow us to access the eShop so we can see what games are available to download. And by the way, the feel of these controllers feel incredible. Update is complete, the console will restart. Um, the feel of this is really nice guys. The texture is nice. The weight is so good. It's not heavy whatsoever. It's not big at all. I'm gonna bring my phone in for a comparison size. Just for a comparison, this is the iPhone 7 Plus. So it's not, the screen itself is not that much bigger. The actual console is not that much, you know, taller than the iPhone itself. Um, it is a little bit wider, but it's, it, like I said, it's very manageable guys. I love it. It's great. So we'll hit back. So these are the games, I guess, that are featured. So recent releases, we got Zelda, we got, I'm not sure if that's Bomberman, is that Bomberman? Super Bomberman R. Sweet. And this is in Australian, guys. So if you see the pricing, don't freak out. It's probably in Australian, so don't freak out. <laughs> um, yeah, this actually feels really, really good, guys. I'm extremely excited about the console. Feels really good in the hand. I am very, very excited about playing Zelda. Matter of fact, let's just pop this in real quick to see a quick little glimpse. So this is the inside of the package. So we have a little poster and the game. Take that out. So Zelda pops up here. I'm gonna turn up the brightness on the screen, by the way. Screen brightness. Just from first glance, guys, it looks really good. I'm digging it so far. Now, I have light flashing on it from uh, to the right of the camera right now. So there is a little bit of glare. So I'm not sure how it's gonna fare outside. Now, really quick before I go, I did wanna show you guys this. I just put this on just to see how this would actually work. Um, and it feels really good. Like, it doesn't feel weird as a controller, by the way. It actually feels really good in the hand. You still get the vibrations from the controllers themselves. So I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, guys. So I'm gonna leave it here, guys. 
I want to really know what you guys think so far about this. I am extremely, extremely excited about this console, guys. Oh, man, I cannot wait. And I'll do some gameplay stuff for you guys if you want me to. Like I said, I am not a good gamer, so it's probably not the best thing to do. But I do have a couple of things I want to try with this USB-C port. So stay tuned to the channel for that because I have some really cool things I want to test with this to see if it's compatible with. So that's going to do it for my unboxing of the Switch, guys. Let me know what you guys want me to cover in the review of the Switch. There's a lot of things I have in mind, but i really like to know your guys' thoughts. Keep in mind, I'm not a gamer, so... If you guys aren't gamers as well, let me know some things that you guys are interested in to know about the Switch, maybe to interest you into getting one. If you guys like this unboxing, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna wanna do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna check out my last video, the link will be right here to the side. All right guys, till next time. See you later.